My Maps is a brilliant new tool from Google. It lets you create your own map and add things like pins and other bits of media to it. So type into Google My Maps and then click on the top entry. And it will take you, as long as you're already logged in with your Google account, if not you can register or make an account, uh, to this page and it's got all of your maps that you've saved. So I'm just going to go to create a new map the red button at the top and what it will do is it will take you to where you are in the world now just as an example um, I'm going to show you a thing that we did in my class recently we're studying World War II so I asked the students to um, put loads of um, dates and times for the different countries so if we just for instance go to Pearl Harbor and it finds it for you. So I'm just going to click the cross there and I don't want it on my map, the standard one. I want to create my own map. So here's Pearl Harbor and what you can do, I'm going to call it uh, World War II uh, E-Events. Don't need a description for that. Um, and you've got all different layers so you can add um, different layers to your map, but I'm not, not too fussed about that. I'm going to change it to look like this one. You can get satellite images, all sorts. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pin. So I put my marker and then just click. And then the title, Japanese Invasion of Pearl Harbor. And then ask your students to go into Google and find out when was Pearl Harbor attacked. And Google December the seventh, nineteen forty-one. So in the details, December seventh, nineteen forty-one. Now, what's really nice is you can click on the Add Image or Video. So you can go straight to find your own image, or you can do a Google image search within the program, or even a YouTube search. I'm just going to type in Pearl Harbor. Oops. And it gives you a load of um, ones from the movie. I actually want some real footage. So view it when you've got the one you'd like. Maybe I'll just put in Pearl Harbor attack. See what that brings up. Ah, perfect. So you can preview it. If you're happy with it, select it. And you've got this now interactive whoop, got this interactive map. So I'm just going to save that. When you have saved, you can do things like you can edit the style of your pins. So you have a yellow one. Um, you can also change the shape. So if you want it stars or circles, I quite like the circles. You can add more pictures, images. And so I'm just going to click across there. Now, so this is your own map now. So whenever um, someone, if you share it, someone comes to view your map, the pin can be clicked on, and then they get some more information. So this is such a powerful tool. Really, really, really good. Um, when you're happy and finished, you just press the share and then type in the um, email of the person you want to share it with. Just a few other features. You can do lines or shapes. So you could do a route that some troops took in the war, for instance. Or you can change it into a shape to maybe plot an area, and then it gives the area some details. The final thing you can do is you can get some directions if you're doing route planning or you can use the ruler and it measures different routes so from Indonesia to the Philippines see it's 1681 and then to the US a really nice um, other tool so that's Google My Maps the basics really good tool to use in your lessons thank you